Hello friends, I'm Nashik from blogtoot.com and today in this video I'll show you how you can accept payment on your own website. So like it happens in PayPal, you have to redirect a person to PayPal. So the person has to leave your website, go to PayPal and make payment. So that is not going, going to happen. I'll show you how you can accept payment on your own website which means that the person does not have to leave your website to make the payment. We are going to learn two more things in this website. The second thing is that we will see how to add this buy now button that you see on your screen. So in, if the person doesn't want to click on this add to cart, then go to cart, then do the checkout. If they just want to make the payment, just purchase this product just from here, they can simply click on this buy now button and purchase the product right away. And the third thing that we're going to see is how to accept credit card and debit card payments directly from PayPal. Now, generally what happens is PayPal, when you accept, when you click on PayPal, when you integrate PayPal, when you, with your e-commerce website, and when the person pays with PayPal, what happens is they will go to PayPal. They will get an option that enter your PayPal account that you want to make payment with. And below that, there will be small button which says, if you want to make payment through debit card, credit card, click on this button. So what I'll, I'll show you is I'll show you how you can you know do some settings that a person can directly go to that section okay don't worry if you don't understand that when we'll do these things when we'll do these settings you will understand it much better now before proceeding further make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos if this video helps you give a thumbs up to this video if you have any doubt any comments for me you can leave them in the comment section below with that being said let's get into it all right, guys. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to go to your dashboard. So let's click on this dashboard. Now from here, you'll see this plugins option at the left hand side, hover plugins and click on add new. Now in the search bar, search for PayPal Express. Now from here, select this one, uh, WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Payment Gateway. This is by WooCommerce. Simply install and activate this plugin. Now, once you are done with that, what you will have to do, you have to hover WooCommerce and click on settings. Now click on payments. You will see this PayPal checkout option. Make sure this is enabled. So if it is not, simply click on this and it will be enabled like this. So enable this PayPal checkout and click on manage. Now we have to manage few things. Okay, so what you have to do first thing, we have to simply tick mark on this enable PayPal checkout. And this is the description. This is the title. Let me show you where this description and title will show. Now, as you can see, this is the checkout page. When we do checkout, this is the page. So this is the title, which is PayPal. And this is the description. When the person will you know, try to do the checkout, they'll see this uh, you know, title and description. So instead of PayPal, we can type in pay with your credit card and debit card. And instead of this, we can type something else. So let's do that. Come back to your website again and instead of this paypal we'll type in uh maybe pay with credit debit card and you, you can just change this description as well okay you can i'll just delete this paypal and i'll make it and keep this thing same you can pay with your credit card if you don't have a paypal account okay so first uh, let's do just do these uh, just these two settings enabling and changing these things and click on save changes now let's go to that website let that page let's refresh it and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not all right now as you can see the title says pay with credit card debit card and here it says in the description you can pay with your credit card if you don't have a paypal account now let's configure or let's integrate paypal with this website all right so coming back to your dashboard you can do these things you can just uh, hide this okay now we have to enter the username password and the signature so for that you have to go to paypal.com so go to paypal.com now log in to paypal and just enter your paypal email address and click on login all right so when you come over here you'll see this seller preferences at the left hand side under selling tools click on seller preferences now you have to uh, see this option API access and besides this you'll see this update button or this update link click on that link now scroll down and come to this section and we uh, NVP soap API integration and in the bracket it says classic 
Now click on this link which says manage ABI credentials. Alright, so you'll see this screen. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to simply click on this show, you'll get your API username. Now copy this from here, go to your website. Now paste this thing under API username. Repeat the process. Click on this show, copy your password, come over here and paste in your password and similarly copy and paste in your live API signature, save and password. Okay. Now after that, just scroll down and we have to do a few more settings. So under landing page, what you have to do, you have to select this one, billing non PayPal account. This is, this is not selected by default. By default, this one is selected login paypal account so we don't want this one we want this one billing non paypal account okay so if even if the person does not have a paypal account he can do the payment he can you know do the payment through credit card and debit card so that is very useful now when you scroll down you will see some more buttons like smart uh payment buttons so if you have to enable this thing so if you enable these things you will get that pay now button, PayPal direct pay now button on your single product, on your cart page, on your checkout page everywhere. Let me show you. So this button, okay, as you can see PayPal ch direct checkout button. When you see your cart also, when you uh, click on this cart icon, you can see that button everywhere. When you see a single product, let's see, you'll see this button again over here, as you can see. So we can do some changes to this button if you want. Come back over here. First of all, you have to enable this thing. Use smart payment button. If you want to change the color of this button, you can do it from here. If you want to change the shape layout, you can do it from here. But for the button size, make sure it is responsive so that you know it is responsive according to your, uh, you know, according to your website. Now, after that, uh, if you want to enable payment checkout, uh, PayPal payment checkout on cart page, you have to do this thing. Rest everything, just leave uh, these things to default and click on save changes. Alright guys, so this is the only setting that you have to do and after that you can accept payment uh, directly on your, you know, on your own website. You don't have to redirect a person to other website and you can accept payment directly through credit card and debit card. Let me show you a demo. So let's try to first let, let me refresh this page. And after that, we'll try to do a payment. Okay, so let me just try to buy this thing now. Okay, I'm not going to add this thing to cart and do all the checkout process. I'll simply buy it now. So let's click on this PayPal buy now button. Now, as you can see, we are on the same window. It's just a small pop up. Okay, you can see if you see properly, you can see my website in the background. So it's just a small pop up. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are directly redirected to this section where we have to enter the credit card debit card detail. Okay, we were not redirected to the regular section we have where we have to log in to PayPal. We were directly redirected to this section, which is amazing. And as you can see, when you simply cut this thing, we are on the same page. Okay, we were not redirected to any other page. Okay, so this is all working fine. All right, guys. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up to this video. Also subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon so they don't miss any future videos. If you have any doubt, any comments for me, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.